We're talking Winter Olympics and our Maggie Ruley. She's live in the mountains of China and Maggie, we've got some action. We've got some obstacles for you to tell us about. Hey there. Hey, TJ. Yeah, it's been a huge day of anticipation up here in the mountains. You mentioned those obstacles, though. Team USA, we hit some setbacks on the slopes, but don't worry because team figure skating came through with a silver medal. It was a rough start for Team USA on the slopes. Michaela Schifrin, looking to defend Olympic gold in her best event, the giant slalom, skiing off course just five gates in. On Instagram, chalking the air up to really bad timing, adding that she's moving on to focus on her next event. And Nina O'Brien suffering a terrible crash during her second run right before the finish line, remaining motionless for several minutes before being carried away by a stretcher. Also a disappointing day for defending slope style gold medalist Red Gerard edged off the podium in a fourth place finish. But on the final night in the team figure skating competition, Team USA dazzling on the ice. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates with a mesmerizing performance in the free dance, boosting Team USA to a silver medal. But a potential setback for team member Vincent Joe, testing positive for COVID after his free skate performance for the team, he's now waiting on an additional test to confirm. It was a history making night on ice for 15 year old Camilla Valiev from the Russian Olympic Committee, becoming the first woman to land a quad in the Olympics. And more good news for Team USA, Bob Sledder, Alana Myers-Taylor finally testing negative for COVID. We caught up with her just moments before she left isolation. What did you think when you finally got the second negative test? I was overwhelmed. I definitely cried when I got the news. I wasn't sure what was going to happen. I wasn't sure if I was going to make it out of... Three-time Olympian and new mom is now back training for the upcoming monobob. I think the biggest thing is how I look at it. If I think it's going to have an effect on my training, it will. And I don't think it'll have an effect. Guys, we are so thrilled for Alana. She is such a joy. And there's some more good news for our Team USA. It's a big opportunity this week for them. In a few days, Michaela Schifrin gets another chance on the slopes with another medal opportunity coming up. Guys. <laughs> Maggie, it's amazing to hear them celebrating medals and celebrating negative COVID tests. That's just <laughs> what these games are right now. But we're looking forward to seeing Nathan Chen, the figure skater. When is he going to be back in action? Well, soon, in just a few hours, TJ, this is really exciting. Nathan Chen's arguably his biggest event. He's a, a favorite to win gold in the men's sort program for figure skating. But you mentioned those negative COVID tests. This is again hanging over this event, TJ. Vincent Joe, his teammate, tested positive for COVID. And while we're waiting for his second test to confirm, but you guys can just imagine the stress going through Nathan's head right now. Hours to go until that big event. And now he's worried being a close contact oh. to his teammate. So oh. definitely hanging over him. But I, I have to say, Nathan, we saw him uh, give a similar short term perform uh, short performance for the team event. It was incredible. It was his best ever. So we're rooting for him and cannot wait to see him out on the ice. <laughs> we need test results. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a great job, Maggie. Thank yeah. you so much for being there. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.